Right behind me, there is a hair restoration robot. Yes, that is right, a hair restoration robot. This is the future, guys. Take a look. It's a robot, yeah. isn't it? It's clever. So it's actually putting in the hairs yeah. from a preloaded cartridge into what is known as the most common implant site for men, which is the frontal area. The frontal, yeah. yeah. So that means it's already finished doing the harvest, which is in the, in the back area here in your head. Yeah. And the harvests have been processed by your team, made sure that everything is viable, looks good. If you've got four hairs in a graft, you split that graft to be able to implant two hairs instead of just one. Wow, you know? wow. And then the machine does the implantation for you. It's amazing. So it's, in, in the past, doctors would do all that manually. Manually, with, yeah. With the yeah, yeah. Or, and it, it, it takes a lot of time. It also takes a lot out of the, you know, yeah. the fatigue factor it's tiring. Was, was a major thing. Yeah. So you wouldn't look at doing hair transplant for the rest of your career because by the time you're 50, your back is probably back. shut. You know? yeah. Your eyes are probably gone. Yeah. So, the robot saves that and allows these doctors to just push that that business all the way to further than it ever, ever it ever has wow. been. Wow! Yeah, and you know it's amazing because the artificial intelligence in it makes sure that what it's harvesting on the back doesn't create an uneven look for you. Yeah. So it doesn't make a patchy look where oh, I'm going to take more hairs here and yeah. leave that that yeah. part. So yeah. it makes sure it looks even. Fantastic. And then when it implants, it does the same thing. Beautiful. So it looks natural. So That's amazing. Your role as the doctor becomes an overseer, mm -hmm. you know, and making mm -hmm. sure that the robot's just doing everything that you're wanting to do, but the doing actually is done by the machine itself. How long does it take to actually harvest and then in, implant it again? Yeah, so, so harvesting typically takes about two, two and a half hours. Mm -hmm. um, and then typically the, the, the procedure is, is done on a, I would say probably a, a day. A day? Starting yeah. about nine o'clock, ending at three o'clock. So yeah. not all the way from eight to five or something yeah. like that. Yeah. The implantation, same amount of time. Yeah. Um, we think it's gonna get faster with the implantation on, on, on probably the second version of it. Yeah. Because this is the first version of the, the, oh, wow. the implanting function. Yeah, yeah. The one before this only did the harvesting. Wow. So that's why it's such a big launch because everyone is now looking at Amazing. Wow, how does it implant? Yeah, yeah, how yeah. Does it do it, you know? it's, it's so futuristic. I love it. It's, it's, it's great. It's, it's really it's, great. It's out of this world. Actually. It is. It is out of this world. You're right. It's totally. It's amazing. I've never seen anything like that before. It's great. If I move. Yeah. See, it's pausing. It's, it'll wait for you to be stationary and yeah. then it'll proceed. And then it goes again. So it's, there's no danger of your patient going, oh my God, I can't take this, standing up and all of a sudden being jammed by jammed, the thing, yeah. Right? They yeah. get stopped. Wow. Okay, but yeah. it will work. You know. No, no, it, it did. It stopped. It, it, it stopped. Okay, it just yeah, waited. It, it just waited. Yeah. It's so, it's it, so, stopped, it's, it stops it's so for a little fast. bit, it waits. It's faster than our eyes, right? Yeah. So the moment your thing is stationary, it'll jab it. Yeah. Whereas our eyes are just are just registering, okay, it's stationary yeah. now. Oh, it's already jabbing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? It's, yeah. It's, it's, it's a robot, yeah. isn't it? It's clever. Yeah.